Hey y'all, Pastor Drew here with another one of these Lent daily reflections. Uh, throughout the season of Lent, every day, Sunday through Thursday, I'm taking a few minutes, four, five, six minutes, to reflect a little bit on an aspect of our theme at Christ Lutheran Church, where I serve as pastor, which is the greatest commandment. Uh, that's our theme for Lent. It's an opportunity to reflect on that which matters most, the thing that Jesus has told us is most important and called greatest or first. And this week, we've been talking about what it is to set priorities. And so yesterday in my video, I talked about you know, how maybe at the beginning of the week or um, when you need a, a larger moment of time away to set priorities. How, how would we set our priorities each day, each week, each year? We make New Year's resolutions or set an intention or whatever it is and inviting God into that process as we try to prioritize and figure out what to do first and what is most important. And today, uh, assuming that we can set our priorities and invite the Holy Spirit to guide us as we set those priorities, I want to invite us to think about what it is to, to reset those priorities. Uh, we get so busy going on to the next thing. I, I might take a lot of time setting my to-do list and putting it in order, but maybe halfway through the list, I've started focusing on, you know, the minor things, the small things, the, the things that were intentionally put at the bottom of that list that I think I can check off quickly. Uh, I talked with some fellow dads in my neighborhood recently, um, we had a, a, a kind of a get together and we were talking about how you can get lost in responding to um, the, the short emails that just need like a quick yes, no, thanks, got it. And all of a sudden you've spent, you know, half of your day with really small stuff because you're like, oh, let me just take care of that real quick. I'll knock it off the list. Um, we're feeling good because we we knocked those uh, small things off the list and then we're left with the really big things. But we've already spent most of our time and energy on the small stuff that was important, but not the most important thing. And so what does it look like to, to take time and space to reset our priorities, whether that's during the work day to go back to focusing on those most important things or really from my perspective, whether that's in our life of faith, we we can do the small things well and right, and those things are important. But if we lose sight of the most important things, then pretty soon we're going to get it wrong. This is, I think, what Jesus does in the Sermon on the Mount when he sort of retells the law and he says, "Hey, you've you know you've heard it said this way, and." You know, you, you seem to be doing fine with that, but what, what I, let me tell you about what's underneath that, what's guiding it, what's most important, right? It's not just about not committing the most heinous acts of violence and murder against one another. You've heard it said, thou shalt not kill, but I say to you, don't even harbor a hateful or violent thought toward your neighbor, because it's really about loving your neighbor, loving even those who you see as enemies, praying for the people who persecute you because... It comes back to that greatest commandment, to love God and love neighbor. So how do you reset priorities? Maybe it's just getting up from your desk and going and refilling your water bottle. That's one that I do sometimes. Uh, maybe it's getting out of your space and having a conversation about something entirely different to come back with fresh eyes. For me, one of the things that I do, um, I'm here in my office, I'll come and grab my guitar uh, and sit down and play or sing a song even for 90 seconds, a minute. Um, and it's a way that I can create some space, focus in on what matters most. I'll, I'll pause and take a break to pray and invite God back into that process to reshape and reset my priorities, to come back to what I was doing and do the first things first. Uh, the things that are most important, that most reflect the love of God and the love of neighbor. Because that's what it's all about. The rest of it is all how we're doing that, how we're living it out, right? This is one of those beautiful tensions and paradoxes of the Christian faith is it's as simple as love God, love neighbor. And it is complex as actually living that out, loving God and loving neighbor. So how do you reset your priorities? What are ways that we can take time to 
you know, we've, we know what those priorities are and how do we get back on track? How do we recognize, mean, some of it recognize, means creating enough space to recognize that we've gotten off track, that we've mixed up our priorities again. That's the only way we're going to know that we need to get back on track. And then through prayer or space, conversation, a change of scenery, um, a mu music or a song, something, a uh, mantra, a prayer, uh, a breath prayer that refocuses us, that puts the most important thing first. I'm reminded of Paul, right? He says, I can speak with the tongues of angels. I can do all this really cool, really great stuff. But if I don't have love for God and for my neighbor, then it's pointless. It's just noise. So we have to reset our priorities around love sometimes starts with remembering that we are loved, often starts with remembering that we are loved by God so deeply and dearly so that we can focus on those things, do the, the great things, the first things, which means things that promote the abundant life and flourishing of all that share the steadfast, unending, unconditional love that God has already given to us. So I hope that you can reset your priorities today and this week. In fact, I think Lent is itself this great resetting of our priorities. The whole church says, what's most important? Let's start there, continue there, and end there by loving God with all we have and all we are, loving our neighbor as ourselves. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Grace and peace.